On September 14, 1741, George Friedrich Handel sat down at his desk, quill in hand, to etch his name into the annals of music history. Handel was no stranger to success, but what he accomplished that day would transcend the realms of mere mortal achievement. He completed his Oratorio Messiah, a work that would not only define his career, but also leave an indelible mark on the world of music. The story begins in the bustling city of London. Handel, a German composer who had settled in England, was at a crossroads in his career. Despite his previous successes, he faced mounting financial troubles and fading public interest. But then, Charles Jennings, an acquaintance and librettist, presented him with a script drawn directly from the Bible. It was a compilation of Old and New Testament texts centered around the life of Jesus Christ. Inspired and driven by a newfound sense of purpose, Handel locked himself away, determined to turn these scriptures into something extraordinary. In a mere 24 days, Handel composed the entire oratorio. Think about that, over 250 pages of music, completed in less than a month. Legend has it, he scarcely left his room, surviving on little more than coffee and sheer willpower. Some say he was divinely inspired, others argue it was his relentless work ethic. Regardless, the result was nothing short of miraculous. The first performance of Messiah took place in Dublin in 1742, not London. It was a charity event with proceeds going to help prisoners and hospitals. The reception was overwhelming. The audience was so large women were asked not to wear hoop skirts to make more room. The success in Dublin convinced Handel to bring Messiah to London, where it initially received a lukewarm reception. Over time, however, it grew in popularity and became a cornerstone of Western music. Perhaps the most famous moment in the oratorio is the Hallelujah Chorus. It's said that when King George II first heard it, he was so moved that he stood up. As a result, audiences still rise to their feet during this chorus, a tradition that has endured for centuries. Handel's Messiah is more than just a piece of music. It's an experience. Its powerful message of hope, redemption, and triumph resonates to this day. It has been performed countless times across the globe, from grand cathedrals to humble community halls. It brings people together, transcending culture, time, and even religion. So next time you hear the soaring notes of the Hallelujah Chorus, remember the man who, on this very day in 1741, achieved the sublime. George Friedrich Handel didn't just compose music. He composed a masterpiece that would echo through the ages. Intrigued by Handel's journey and the creation of Messiah, Click on the links in the description and the first pinned comment to dive deeper into this fascinating story. There you'll find books and resources that explore every nuance of this incredible historical event. Thank you for joining us today at Sapien Spectrum Channel. It was a privilege to share this slice of history with you. We hope it sparked a flame of curiosity and a desire to learn more about the tapestry of human experience. For further exploration, don't forget to visit the links in the description and first pinned comment. If you found today's journey enlightening, please like, share, and subscribe for your daily dose of history and humanity's fundamental subjects. Until tomorrow, keep pondering, keep exploring, and remember, our past is the prologue to our future. Farewell and take care.